Nicola Sturgeon's independence referendum will be given a green light by the UK government, a political scientist has told Express. Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon declared a second independence referendum is the will of the country, after the Scottish National Party SNP, won a fourth consecutive term in power last week. The SNP and Scottish Greens won a total of 72 seats in Holyrood on a record turnout for the Scottish Parliament elections of 63% to 10% higher than on average for a Scottish Parliament election. In the last parliamentary term, the Greens and SNP formed a pro-independence majority, with the former supporting the minority government on key votes including the budget, there is now the possibility that they may form a coalition government in this parliament, which could increase the pressure on the UK government to agree to a second referendum. After the vote, though, Prime Minister Boris Johnson has only said the focus should be on the Covid recovery and not on another independence referendum. His government is clear that the UK's constitution is reserved for the Westminster Parliament. Ahead of the 2014 referendum, the two governments signed the Edinburgh Agreement. This time around Ms Sturgeon is pressing ahead regardless of the UK government's wishes. In an exclusive interview with Express, Professor Michael Keating, chair in politics at Aberdeen University, argued that at some point, Ms Sturgeon will be given the green light. He said, the Prime Minister's options now are to allow an independence referendum, which would require a statutory instrument. He says he is not going to do it now, as now it is not the time. But that implies that there will be a time where it's appropriate to do it. And indeed the UK government has never denied Scotland could become independent. It is an argument that is temporary. He might continue to say it's not the time, hoping nationalism will go away but that is unlikely to happen. Professor Keating noted it is not in the interest of the SNP to hold a referendum in the near future, anyhow. He added, neither side wants a referendum this year as polls show Scots are equally split on the issue. It is too risky. It takes time anyway. It takes a year even in normal times, but in any case, it has now moved because of Covid.